Hello, kings and queens. This is Zena at Wealth and Success Enterprises. Um, hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, hope all of all of my queens had a wonderful Mother's Day, and that you are blessed and happy and doing well. Just want to share something with you all, kings and queens. Um, someone approached me today, and they were, you know, just sharing. Uh, some information well I'm, I'm not gonna say sharing they were venting they were um, agitated they were frustrated uh, with a situation that was going on and you know sometimes people when they're ag when they're agitated and frustrated they will try to bring you in and drag you in to a situation where you only need to be a listening ear and um you can give advice but give good advice you know whatever whatever is going on that is negative in that situation sometimes people want you to side with them but then when i ask the question what well, did that person uh, receive it did that person act on are you sure this person act on what you are explaining to me and the person was like yeah yes they did they you know to me um i wasn't really clear on all the information um sometimes information can be only one-sided where you only going to hear only one side um of a situation of a conversation if another person is not there and i'm trying to think of the legal term uh, when you're in court adjudicate um uh, not adjudicate but uh what is that person when you don't go to legal counsel but you are there right i can't think of the word right now um i can't even think of the word but anyway so you have to be careful when people drag you in, especially when they're not family. And when, you know, they're just, I don't want to say random people, but people that, that you know, and y'all want to say associates. We are associates. You are associates. So you have to be very careful not to get, not to get dragged in, not to, um, not to join in on tearing down the other person that is being the point person that's being talked about you need to just listen just listen because the person is already frustrated they're agitated so they just need someone just to listen because you know at the end of the day um you're going to be confused because when you see the person that's coming to you um with this information and then you see them later laughing and lollygagging or hanging out and you're gonna you're gonna be confused so that's why i say don't get sucked in be a listening ear because things will change and you're going to be confused and we don't need to be confused about people's um situations so i know that was a whole lot around about but sometimes you just got to be a listening ear so you don't get wrapped up trapped up in a lot of people's drama and situations so i just wanted to share that with you on today and you know we we just have to we have to stay motivated we have to stay lifted up in our spirits we have to stay encouraged we have to stay on top and not beneath and we need to be above and not beneath. And we need to be the head and not the tail. Okay? Of what I just shared, you know, these are things that are in the Bible. So, you know, um, throughout this day, you know, try to keep yourself uplifted. Because things change. And when things change, you're going to have to be strong and go through the changes things don't remain the same 
things don't remain the same. Uh, I know we have family family members that are transitioning, um, meaning that they are that they're deceasing, they're dying, and we have to we have to we have to cry. Yes, we need to cry, but we need to also keep living. And just because the people, just because our, our loved ones die, we don't have to die. We don't have to die. We don't have to die. We have to keep living until it's our time. I know I've been talking about death, but death is um, very apparent. It's happening. It's all around us. So I just want to just tell you, just continue to be strengthened, be motivated. Um, there's a prayer going on around 7 p.m. Um, one of my uh, friends who's on YouTube, Bo Griffin, he asked that at 7 p.m. that we all will stop and just pray. And I told him, I, I'm in agreement with that. At 7 p.m., I'm going to stop whatever I'm, I am doing and I'm going to pray. So, Bo Griffin, thank you for that. Uh, we're going to make we're gonna make this thing uh, blow up uh, on YouTube. Everyone at 7 p.m., whatever you're doing, stop and pray. This is what um, a friend of mine, Bo, Bo Griffin, has said, you know, let's do this. So let's all touch and agree. Just pray. Pray for your family. Pray for one another. One another. Pray for, pray for all of us. We're just going to stop and pray and give God reverence at 7 p.m. Whatever you're doing, stop and pray at 7 p.m. Thank you for that, Bo Williams. God bless you all. Gospel Classic TV, God bless you. Pray that you will continue to continue to go full stream. Um, I saw that McDonald Fest uh, video. Great. I didn't even know McDonald McDonald's did, the, did those gospel, gospel fests. So be encouraged. God bless you all. Love you all. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking my video. Please give me the thumbs up today. Take care. Bye-bye.